Why is estrogen for men bad? Well, it's not bad, it's just bad in high amounts. Actually, it's a very helpful and important hormone, not just for women, but for men as well. Having too low estrogen as a guy will give you all sorts of issues. But how many men out there actually have low estrogen? It's not many, but sadly, many do have very high estrogen. And I'll go over some of those symptoms. First one is gyno. Full name is gynecomastia, but it's also known as man boobs. This is when you have too much fat around your breast area, which makes a lot of sense when you realize that estrogen is the female hormone. So it will make you more feminine, which is going to be a common trend that you'll see in all of these symptoms. So next one, still on the topic of fat, is love handles. To get this, you kind of have to have a variety of factors such as high cortisol, but estrogen is almost always a big player. Love handles are when you have too much fat above your hip area, pretty much, kind of giving you an hourglass body shape which is something many women might want but as a man no not necessarily next one is a lot more serious it's on the topic of bone structure fat sure gyno just gets surgery love handles will lose a lot of body fat and it will probably deplete eventually but while you are developing if your estrogen is too high it will give you wider hips more feminine facial features want hunter eyes forget it giga chat jaw forget it sadly it even makes your hands and feet smaller and this one's very awful because i don't know many surgeries that can fix this let alone natural methods next still on the topic of bone structure it will make you shorter. It can make you less tall than you could have been, which is once again, very bad. Of course, there's surgeries and a lot of stuff. And look, this stretch makes you taller. By the way, I don't think those work. But at the end of the day, if you didn't play your cards right during your development, there's not much you can do. So I'm warning you, take care of yourself, especially while you're developing. The next one is to do with both muscle and fat. Your body will prioritize gaining fat easier. Unless you're growing, you're not just gonna gain bone mass one day. If you gain something, it's probably fat, muscle, or water. And water, doesn't really count so as far as tissues go your body pretty much only has the choice between fat and muscle and when your estrogen is higher it will choose more fat but moving on to mental health because high estrogen can give you depression not the self-diagnosed one day big sad type of thing no the real deal not much more to say about this one it's just depression which in itself should be bad enough so now you might think just how common is high estrogen really well just talking about gyno and love handles you can probably name quite a few people in your life that fit that criteria avoid estrogenics because these issues I'm listing they weren't very common before they were very very rare from rare circumstances genetic disorders your great great granddaddy didn't have these issues but we do we have these issues and it's because of estrogenics higher estrogen lower testosterone you've probably heard it being said a million times oh look at this graph every year men's testosterone levels drop by one percent but even though you heard it already, it doesn't make it any less true. These drops aren't because people are living longer and older people are part of the statistics. You can try to think of a million reasons to justify this graph, but it always boils down to estrogenics. Now, possibly one of the most serious ones for humanity, reproductive issues, low libido, infertility, erectile dysfunction. Because if there's no new babies, we kind of all die. <laughs> Probably not something to laugh about, but definitely something to think about, especially considering if parents even are able to have kids, these issues still get passed down the line. But next, thyroid issues, specifically an uh, overactive thyroid. If I were to make a video about just this, it would probably be over 10 minutes long. It affects just so many aspects of your body. So definitely not something that you want. But I don't want to scare you guys too much. I've listed all of these symptoms. If you have high estrogen and you have all of these symptoms, that's very unlikely. You're probably going to have a few. I think more commonly, it's going to be gyno and love handles. But of course, that's coming from my unprofessional experience because I'm no doctor. So don't be scared. Just take your life seriously, which means accepting that phytoestrogens aren't good for you. In general, if you're good at not coping and taking things for what they are, you're going to be very successful in life. Just think about it, like, let's say I don't want to accept something like, oh, I'm not that fat. I'm OK. I don't really need to do anything when I'm actually very fat. The sooner I accept this fact of me being overweight, the better it's going to be for me. And in general, a person who's quick on his feet to really take things for what they are is going to improve much faster on stuff like self-improvement and just life in general. And that's what I want for you as well. Have a good day.